It's the calm before the storm, if you will, that time of year right before airports get busier. We just conducted a survey with the Harris Poll at the Point Sky, and we found that more than half of Americans are going to be traveling for the holidays. With holiday travel season set to start soon, Clint Henderson, the managing editor of travel website The Point Sky, shared the results of a new survey with Fox 5 News. People are really worried about crowds at the airport. This traveler says yes, the crowds are always a concern, but she'll have to deal with it near the Thanksgiving holiday. Yes, but we have clear, so that helps us beat a little bit of the uh, security line. For many, delays and cancellations are also a concern. Our survey with the Harris Poll shows that uh, people who are traveling, planning on traveling for Christmas, are really worried about cancellations and delays. And I think that's a direct result of the big meltdowns we saw a couple years ago. This traveler says he has no worries about traveling during the travel season. I've been lucky in recent years, so not too concerned. In this economy, pricing is surely something many want to know about if they plan to travel over the holidays. We're seeing sort of a back to normal when it comes to uh, airplane tickets and rental cars and things like that. One area that we're still really concerned about is hotel prices, not seeing big reductions in hotel prices. And when it comes to getting there, remember, airlines are not the only option. Trains and vehicles are often an option during the holiday travel season, too. I like to drive. I prefer to drive. That's unless distance and time off don't equal alternate routes. The Point Sky survey commissioned in partnership with the Harris Poll also found 44% of holiday travelers have not booked any of their holiday travel yet, and experts say the time to do that is now. 69% surveyed say price is a bigger priority to them than flying with their favorite airline, and 67% plan to use their rewards for hotels. Stephanie Bertini, Fox 5 News.